Welcome to the presentation on subtracting decimal numbers. Let's get some start let's get started with some problems. Okay, the first problem I have here says five whoops, five point I'm reading out the problem off of a piece of paper, so it's five point seven three minus point zero eight two one equals who knows. So the first thing you always want to do with the decimal like this, and I actually kind of inadvertently did this, is that you want to line up the decimals. So you actually want this decimal to be right above this decimal. And I almost did that when I uh, did it. It must have been my subconscious doing it. But let me just do it a little bit neater. So it's 5.73. And then I'll put the decimal here. It's decimal 0, 8, 2, one. And some people uh, say it's good to always put a zero in front of the decimal. My wife's a doctor, and she says it's critical. Otherwise, you might give someone the wrong amount of medicine. But anyway, so we've lined up the decimals, and now we're ready to subtract. So one thing that you have to think about when you do decimals is we're going to have to subtract this this 21 ten thousandths, or this 2 and this 1 from something. We can't just subtract it from, from this blank space. So we have to add two zeros here. And as you know, with a decimal, when you add zeros to the end of it, it really doesn't change the value of the decimal. So at this point, we just view this like a level for subtraction problem. So the first thing we do in any subtraction problems is see if any of the numbers on top are smaller than any of the numbers on the bottom. Well, in this case, there are a lot of them. So uh, this 0 is less than this 1. This 0 is less than this 2. This 3 is less than this 8. So we're going to have to borrow. And some people will uh, like to do their borrowing and subtracting, they kind of alternate between the two. Uh, I like to do all of my borrowing ahead of time. So what I do is I start in the top right, and I say, OK, 0 is less than 1. So that 0 becomes a 10. But in order to become a 10, I would have had to borrow 1 from someplace. I look to the left of that 0, and I say, well, can I borrow the 1 from 0? Well. No, this is just the way I do it. There are other people who would actually uh, let you borrow the 1 from the 0. But I say no. Instead of borrowing the 1 from the 0, I borrow the 1 from this entire 30. So this 30, see right there's this 3, 0. So I'm going to borrow 1 from it. And it becomes 29. So we borrowed 1 from this 30 to get a 10 here. And now let's check again to see if all of our numbers on top are larger than all the numbers on the bottom. Well, 10 is larger than 1. 9 is larger than 2. 2 is not larger than 8. So we've got to borrow again. So if we're going to borrow, the 2 becomes a 12. And the 7, we borrowed 1 from that, becomes a 6. So let's check again. 10 is larger than 1. 9 is larger than 2. 12 is larger than 8. 6 is larger than 0. And 5 is larger than 0. So now we've done all of our borrowing, and we're ready to do some subtraction. And this is the easy part. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. 12 minus 8 is 4. 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 0 is 5. And we just bring down the decimal point. So there's our answer, 5.73 minus 0 0.0821 is equal to 5.6479. There you go. I probably confused you, so let's do some more problems. Here's another one. 8, I have to leave some, actually let me leave some space on top to do the borrowing. 8 point Two five minus zero point zero one zero oh five. So what was that first step that I always have to do? Right, to line up the decimals. So let me do that. So it's eight point two five and zero point zero one zero five. Notice I lined up this decimal right below this decimal. Now I add the zeros. 
just because this 0 and this 5 need to be subtracted from something. And now let me do my borrowing. So once again, all I do is check to see whether the top number is larger than the number below it. Well, this 0 is smaller than 5, so I'm going to have to borrow. So I'm going to borrow. I can't borrow from this 0. I have to borrow from this entire 50. So this 50, if I borrow 1 from 50, I get 49. And this 0 will then become a 10, right? I borrowed 1 from 50 to get a 10. Now, am I done? 10 is larger than 5. 9 is larger than 0. 4 is larger than 1. 2 is larger than 0. And 8 is larger than 0. So I think I'm ready to subtract. 10 minus 5, well, that's 5. 9 minus 0 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 0 is 2. And 8 minus 0 is 8. And I bring down the decimal point. So if you mastered level 4 subtraction, the, the decimal problems really are just about lining up the decimal point, adding the zeros, and then just doing a normal subtraction problem. In general, with subtraction, I think most people have the most trouble with the borrowing. Um, the way I do it, I think, is a little bit different that's taught in a lot of schools. A lot of schools, they'll, they'll do the subtraction and they'll borrow alternatively. But I find this easier when I just borrow ahead of time. And I also, like for example, in this problem, when I had to make this 0 into a 10, instead of borrowing from the 0, which is not intuitive because I can't really borrow from 0, I borrowed from this entire 50. And I made that into a 49. Let's do one more problem. Okay. If I have 2.64 minus 0 0.00486. So once again, let's line up the decimal points. 2.64, and it's 0 0.0486. Lined up the decimal points at the zeros on top. So again, I have a 0 here, so I have to borrow. It becomes a 10. Can't borrow from the 0, so I have to borrow from this entire 40. So this 40 becomes a 39. I think I'm running out of space. So 10 is larger than 6. 9 is larger than 8. 3 is not larger than 4. So this 3 I'm going to have to borrow. So 3 becomes a 13. I apologize. I'm becoming squanched. And the 6 becomes a 5. This is really bad. I shouldn't do it so messy. But now we say the 10 is larger than the 6, the 9 is larger than the 8, the 13, this 13 should be on top of that 3, that 13 is larger than 4, and 5 is larger than 0. So we're ready to subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 8 is 1, 13 minus 4 is 9, 5 minus 0 is 5, 2 minus nothing is 2. Bring down the decimal point. So 2.64 minus 0 0.0486 is equal to 2.5914. Hope I didn't confuse you too much, but I think you're ready now to try the, uh, the uh, subtraction of uh, decimals. Have fun.